the Office of the Vice President's mission to deliver efficient, accessible, and responsive public service has already reached millions of Filipinos across the country. And the promise of a remarkable and meaningful impact is gleaned from the strength, hard work, and optimism shown by the individuals, groups, and communities being served by the OVP through its interventions that offer immediate and long-term solutions. These interventions were designed, developed, and implemented through the OVP's collaboration with various government agencies, local government units, private groups, people's organizations, and individual partners. The Office of the Vice President, the second highest government office in the Philippines, an institution for public service, an institution of nation building, an institution of change, stability, and progress. The OVP is an institution committed to the success of its programs and initiatives intended to create a lasting positive impact on the lives of Filipinos. Under the leadership of Vice President Sara Duterte, the office of the Vice President has steadfastly worked to deliver essential social services across the different regions of the country. The OVP is an active participant in the movement to achieve the nation's aspiration to have a prosperous, inclusive, and resilient future. We at the OVP continue to share in the noble mission of improving the quality of life of every Filipino family, especially those in the most underserved communities. We provide vital public assistance programs that ensure support, aid in the plight of the vulnerable sectors, and help alleviate the challenges of poverty in many communities. From January 2023 to July 2024, over 360 million pesos combined amount was successfully allocated to urgently address our people's pressing need for medical and burial assistance. A total amount of 364,383,041.87 pesos worth of medical assistance were provided to a total of 79,721 beneficiaries or 99,240,000 pesos worth of burial assistance were given to 19,882 beneficiaries from various parts of the country. We have carried on in this tireless pursuit by rendering public assistance to thousands of Filipinos through OVP satellite offices in Luzon, Cagayan Valley, Pangasinan, and Bicol, in Visayas, Panay and Negros Islands, Eastern Visayas, and Cebu, Bohol, and Siquijor, and in Mindanao, Caraga, Western Mindanao, Southern Mindanao, and Bar, Lamsamu, Autonomous Region, and Muslim Mindanao. In addition, two extension offices of the Public Assistance Division were also open in Lipa, Batangas, and Tondo, Manila. Each satellite office and extension office across the country complement the functions of the central office in Robinson Cybergate Plaza in Mandaluyo. For fiscal year 2024, the OVP has a 1.885 billion peso available budget under the General Appropriations Act. As of June 30, 2024, the OVP has already obligated 40% of the allotment received or equivalent to 826.605 million pesos with a disbursement rate of 70% or 518.379 million pesos. In our goal of making sure that our people are afforded with safe, accessible, and secured commute, the Office of the Vice President has offered free transportation services to 414,734 Filipinos from January to June 2024. A total of seven buses were deployed to transport passengers in Bacolod, Cebu, Davao, and Metro Manila. Following the recent calamity, that has disrupted the lives of our people in Luzon and some parts of Isaias. We have also intensified our efforts to deliver immediate relief and assistance to affected communities. 
in adherence to our objective of saving lives and ensuring the utmost safety of all, 462,867 individuals and 134,168 families have benefited from the relief operations mobilized by our Disaster Operations Center from January to June 2024. A total of 58.3 million pesos were effectively allocated to various resource mobilization endeavors in support of all undertakings that aid OVPDOC's relief and rescue activities. We at the Office of the Vice President continue to rally behind the pursuit of environmental preservation while underscoring the value of education and oral health through the Bagbabago a million learners and trees campaign. The program is a two-pronged intervention of the Office of the Vice President to provide hope and encouragement to Filipino learners and champion care for our environment. From January 2023 to July 2024, we are pleased to say that over 300,000 trees were planted across many communities all over the country, while over 175,000 bags with dental kits and school supplies were distributed to thousands of young learners in many remote school communities. In ensuring adequate and sustained nutritional support to Filipino school children, the Pan Setup program has provided a total of 1,216,510 Pan Setup Bans, which were distributed to several identified school communities in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Our mission lies in our unwavering resolve to equip every young learner through nutrition while leading them to a healthier future where they can actively nurture their growth potential. Aligning with the agenda of food security and sufficiency, we successfully initiated the distribution of rice bags and food bags to 36,260 Filipino families and individuals who are facing the challenges of hunger and food insecurity. The RISE program of the Office of the Vice President is conducted to extend immediate relief and provide necessary support to our disadvantaged Filipinos under difficult situations. We reiterate our goal of helping our people realize their hopes for better quality of life by paving avenues that urgently address their most present needs. Likewise, we remain committed to our mission to promote socio-economic development among women and members of the LGBTQ plus communities by providing livelihood and employment opportunities to the qualified recipients of the Negosha the Dai program. From January 2023 to July 2024, a total of 1,965,000 worth of livelihood assistance was successfully granted to 50 qualified recipients. They will also undergo technical and financial management training to ensure the success of their projects. We also continue in our resolve to uphold the value of transformational and servant leadership among the Filipino youth through the You Can Be VP program by promoting immersive opportunities that present the intricacies of governance and policy formulation. We hope that we can inspire them to become equipped and exemplary students with a genuine regard for their nation's welfare. Covering the period of January 2023 to June 2024, 255 local and international engagements were attended by the Office of the Vice President to show support and express our gratitude for the commendable social, civic, and development efforts undertaken by various organizations in the public and private sector. For 2025, the recommended budget for OVP is 2.37 billion pesos, an 8.05 increase compared to the current year appropriation amounting to 1.885 billion pesos. This proposal, once approved, will enable the OVP to continue the operations of the satellite offices and extension offices. It will also ensure the success of the expanded OVP's social services. Hand in hand, we will usher in innovation, carry on transformative progress, 
and shape a more prosperous future for our people, our communities, and our country. The OVP shares the hopes, aspirations, and dreams of the Filipinos, and we as the OVP take pride that it is an institution that puts the welfare of the Filipinos at the heart of its mission. The OVP commits to lead, serve, uplift, and empower the Filipinos. Ang tanggapan ng pangalawang pangulo ng Pilipinas, pamumunuan, paglilingkuran, aalalayan ang mga Pilipino. Lagi kaming tapat sa bayan.